What's up everybody? It's Broken Bones here and welcome to Broken's Bedrock Tutorials. Today we're going to be showing you how to hook up a tree farm to the Universal TNT Blaster. This here is my Universal Dirty Tree Farm. It harvests all one wide tree types minus acacia and it also harvests dirt, rooted dirt, mud, and clay. This here is my Universal Tree Farm. It harvests all one wide tree types including acacia but does not get dirt, mud, or clay. But as you can see right here, the wood comes out in a four wide area by two blocks tall and so does the Universal Dirty Tree Farm. Farm. It also comes out in a four wide area by two blocks tall. The only difference is, is that this farm actually harvests the dirt or rooted dirt and it can turn it into mud and even dry it out into clay. And the only difference between the tree farm tutorials and today's tutorial is that they're not going to be using a wither blaster. Bedrock used to be farmable on Bedrock Edition and it's no longer farmable and so we're having to resort to use TNT. So instead of using this guy, we're going to be using TNT. And as you can see here, we still have the same farm in the background, just our blasting area is all gone and we're now sending all the blocks downward into the TNT blaster. And so before you get started on today's tutorial, you will need to build the Dirty Tree Blaster or the Superior Tree Farm. And I'll leave a link in the top right hand corner there for you guys if you guys want to build the Dirty Tree Farm. The only part that you're not going to follow on the tutorial is obviously this bedrock area right here, the catch basin made out of obsidian and obviously spawning the wither. You will not need this snowman or this circuit that comes all the way back over here connecting to the magenta circuit over here. You do not need any of that and you can build the rest of it except just that part. And if you guys would rather build the superior universal tree farm that doesn't get dirt or clay, then you guys can build this farm and I'll leave a link to it up in the top right hand corner there for you guys. The only difference is, is that this tutorial does not come with the wither blaster. It actually comes with just the wood coming out of the farm. And then I have a separate video showing you three different ways to collect your wood. You have the auto chopper, which requires two people. A person can sit right there and chop the wood, which is actually pretty efficient, except for your pickaxe it might break. And over here we have the wither blaster, which is no longer possible unless you have bedrock already farmed and in your in your <laughs> uh, supplies of stuff to build with and then over here we also have the old school piston pusher that pushes all your blocks into a giant cube and obviously out of that video you'd want to go ahead and build the one that shows you how to put all of your wood into the wither blaster except you're not going to build the wither blaster you're going to build everything but this so i'll leave a link to that video up at the top right hand corner there as well all of these links you can also find down in the description and you're not going to build the wither blaster you're not going to build this obsidian catch basin you don't need the snowman machine or the circuit that leads all the way back to the magenta circuit and then of course once you're done building your tree farm regardless if it's the dirty tree farm or the universal tree farm after that you will need to build the universal tnt blaster so you can send all your blocks in there to get blasted and i'll leave a link to this tutorial also in the top right hand corner and down below in the description and this machine here takes all of your blocks puts them in a one wide block stream and pushes them into this thing which blasts it with tnt Inside here, the TNT gets dispensed out of this dispenser. It flows forward in the water. This slime block here stops it. It gets bounced up and then it goes into here and blasts all your wood and dirt and clay and mud or whatever materials you have in here. And they all fall down and get collected into the storage system. And of course, I've made a bunch of mini farms that also feed into this thing. These are all very simple and easy to build. I recommend building these because they literally take about five minutes each. And however, I'm running out of space for cards up in the top right hand corner. So I'll leave links to this playlist down in the description for you guys, all of the Universal TNT farms. And then once you have the Universal TNT Blaster built and then you have your tree farm built, then you will need one more tutorial. You'll need to know how to push your blocks down into the tree farm. And sometimes that can take some creativity. And I've made a video on that on how to create piston pushers that push blocks in pretty much any direction. And you can use that to get your blocks to feed into this thing. So I'll leave a link to that tutorial up in the top right hand corner and down in the description. And if you guys haven't noticed, today's tutorial is gonna be an expert level build. This is something that I've never disclaimed in any of my tutorials. This is not simple and easy. This is going to be very difficult. There's many tutorials that you have to follow before you can even start watching this tutorial. And uh, just to help you guys out, I do offer redstone support in my Discord. If you go down in the description, you'll see my Discord fan chat. You guys can join that and any troubles that you guys have, please post some pictures in there and let me know what troubles you're having and I'll see what we can do to help you out. And if you're not an expert redstoner, then don't let that stop you. I'm just saying that this is going to be hard. This is going to not be easy. And that's how you get better at redstone is challenging yourself. So if you're a beginner or an intermediate, go ahead and try this. I will definitely help you if you join my Discord fan chat and we'll get this all working for you. However, I just want to let you know that this is not for the faint of heart. This is a very large project and it's probably going to burn you out. 
Building something like this for the average player could take weeks, even months, and it's not for the faint of heart like I said before. And I recommend watching all the tutorials over before you even getting started. Go ahead and check out all the tutorials, figure out a plan in your head, make sure that you know what you're going to do before you get started, and go ahead and watch all the tutorials including this one, and then go ahead and get started. And I know that's a lot of information taken, so let's go ahead and recap and break it down for you guys. This will help make it simple. What we're gonna do is, if you're gonna be building the Universal Dirty Tree Farm, then you need to build this first, and then you need to go ahead and build the Universal TNT Blaster. You can pretty much build this in any area that you want, as long as it's within a loaded chunk radius. So that way, when you're AFK at one, the other one is gonna be loaded. And it doesn't have to be below, it could be to the side, it could be above, it could be pretty much anywhere. And then you're gonna need to watch the uh, piston pushing video that I made, the block block pushing video to go ahead and make sure that you can get all of your blocks feeding into your universal TNT blaster. So once you have that done, that would be the Universal Dirty Tree Farm uh, all done and dusted going into the Universal TNT Blaster. However, if you're wanting to build the Superior Universal Tree Farm, the one that gets Acacia Trees too, that one doesn't have dirt, mud, or clay coming out of it, so you won't have any of this going on. But you would need to build that tutorial, then you would need to build the Wither Blaster tutorial. However, you're not going to be building the Wither Blaster, you're just going to be building the pistons that push the trees and the wood into the Wither Blaster. This is the only part that you're going to need. So you'll need to follow that tutorial too. And then once you're done with either one of these, you'll need to go ahead and follow the uh, block pushing tutorial that I have. And that way you can go ahead and push your blocks to your universal TNT blaster, wherever it may be. And as I stated earlier, your Universal TNT Blaster and your tree farm need to be within a uh, loaded chunk radius of each other, and that'll completely depend upon your sim distance. If you're playing on a realm, then your sim distance is four, which means that whatever chunk you're AFK in, you can build things up to four chunks away, and it'll still be loaded, And which means that you'd have four chunks on that side, four chunks on that side, which would be nine chunks in total. If you're playing on a private world and you've altered your sim distance, then it will be whatever number you set your sim distance to. However, regardless of what sim distance you're playing on, I'm going to recommend that you build these somewhat decently close together. You don't have to, but I'm going to recommend it because you are going to be pushing blocks into this farm, and so therefore you do not want to have to build tons and tons of piston pushers to get your blocks all the way to your farm. Pushing blocks can be laggy, and especially when you're pushing lots and lots of blocks, it'll just get laggier and laggier. So essentially, the closer you build your farms together, the less lag you'll create. And one of the major things that is not shown in many tutorials is lighting up your redstone. That also reduces a lot of lag. Redstone has a light that comes from it anytime that it's lit up, and the lighting updates cause a lot of lag. So if you spam torches down everywhere, making sure that your redstone is all lit up, the lighting updates won't happen, and that'll also reduce a lot of lag. If you do both of those things, make sure that the farms are close together and you light up all of your redstone. You won't have hardly any lag at all. You'll be able to play this on a realm and everyone will still be able to play their game and they won't be noticing a bunch of lag. And if you're planning on building the dirty tree farm, including the uh, wither blaster that you're not going to be building, you're also going to not need to build this brown circuit right here. There's some brown blocks in here in the tutorial that I have. You are going to not need any of these blocks. You're going to leave the block underneath this piston. As you can see, the magenta circuit does come into that but we're going to go ahead and break the whole uh, brown circuit leading up to this point. We're going to go all the way back to here. Once we get back to this point, we can come right here like this. We can leave those brown blocks in there, and we're going to break this all the way back to here, which is right underneath there and right there. You're going to leave that brown block because that actually controls that trap door. But other than that, above that uh, observer, everything else down to this area, down to the magenta block, is going to get taken out. And so without any further ado, if you guys are excited to get started with today's tutorial, then go ahead and smack the like button for me and subscribe if you guys are new and let's get started with the tutorial. A material list will be down in the description. So to get things started, you're going to need to build these farms. However, you're going to need to plan out how you build them. If you've got a, yourself a TNT blaster like this, build that. And then if you have a bunch of farms like this, you can also build that. And so that is why my farm is above because I have these pistons right here that accept blocks from above. I have this piston here. I have a couple different pistons around here that I could shoot my trees down into. I have this one right here. I also have this one over here. It looks like I have one right there, and I also have one back here. And so since I'm building two tree farms today, I'll be building the dirty tree farm and the superior tree farm, and if anything's different between the two, two tutorials, I will definitely let you know. And so I need to choose two of these pistons to feed my tree farm down into. So as you can see, I have now planned out my other builds. I just copied and pasted them over here. Here's the superior tree farm. Here's the universal dirty tree farm and they have their wither blathers connected because that's how I have it in the tutorial. However, I'm going to be taking these out. So out of all the things in the tutorial, you're not going to follow the wither blaster. 
So it should look like this when you're actually complete for both the dirty tree farm and the superior tree farm. And you do not need the snowman or the circuit that connects back to the magenta circuit. And that goes for the superior tree farm and the dirty tree farm. However, on the superior tree farm, I actually have a second set of pistons over here for the wither blaster that you do not need. So you do not need these either. Also for the superior tree farm, you have a door right here in the tutorial. This is something that we're not going to use. And in the dirty tree blaster tutorial, underneath down here, we have this brown circuit leading up to this block. We're going to keep this block, but we're going to break every block leading back down. So we're going to do this slowly so that you guys can see what we need to do. We're going to go ahead and go right underneath here. There's a couple other brown blocks in here. You do not need to break these. You're just literally breaking the ones with redstone dust on top of it, okay? So just redstone dust and we're going to break those and those you're going to break this one right here you're not going to break that one right there above the observer and you're going to break this one over here that one there controls that trap door and that is needed for the uh, moss part of this and uh, everything else can stay those are the only blocks that need to go so we're going to leave that brown block under that piston and we're going to leave that brown block underneath that trap door and we're only breaking the brown blocks that had the redstone dust on top of it so now if you're building the dirty tree farm, you are done preparing your farm. For the superior tree farm, you're going to want to make sure that these come out a total of 12 blocks. Over there on the dirty tree farm, you have clay and wood coming into each other, so you can't do this. This will actually help make sure that this farm doesn't break. And so as you can see here, the wood comes out a total of 10 blocks. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 blocks right there. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make that come out by two more blocks. You don't have to place wood in here. This is a tree farm. All you'd have to do is plant two more trees, and the farm would do the rest. Once you have 12 blocks coming out the front, you are done preparing your farm. But on the dirty tree blaster, we're not going to be doing that. We're not going to be adding two blocks onto the face of this. We're going to leave it just the way it is. And that's because we have other blocks coming in from this direction that we need to also get into our block stream. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start like this. If you're on the superior tree farm, it's going to be the exact same thing. And it's going to be right just like this. What we're going to do is we're going to take some obsidian. We're going to put it down there like that. Go ahead and take two temporary blocks just like so. And then go ahead and put another obsidian block down there. You can break those out. We're going to put four obsidian so that's one two three and four just like that you should see that overhangs just by a little bit just by that block right there what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put sticky pistons facing up on top of these four blocks we're going to take regular pistons now and we're going to come across this way facing them in this direction if we come around the other side of these, we're going to go ahead and take redstone torches. We're going to place them all on top of here just like this. What we need to do now is we need to go ahead and break this wood. Go ahead and get ourselves a area from above. And what we need to do is we need to place in some observers just like this. We're going to go just like that and have observers with the red dot facing up just like so. And then all of the blocks that we broke to place these in, go ahead and put these back. Once you have all your blocks replaced, go ahead and grab some pistons, place in a temporary block on top of these bit of wood here, and go ahead and place it in facing downwards just like this. This should be directly on top of these pistons right here. Go ahead and place two more in all across the top of all of your wood just like that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here with some obsidian. We're going to place obsidian in here just like so. And then next, we need to go ahead and place a block on top of this observer here. I'm going to put it in a brown block, but it is part of the green circuit. I'm using brown because it's actually powering this piston when it extends, because over here, we're actually using the wood as a part of the redstone. So that's not happening with this one because there's no wood there. So I'm going to use brown, but nonetheless, it's still part of these piston pushing circuits. We're going to go ahead and place in four blocks just like that. We're going to stair step down five times. So now this is two, and that's three, and that's four. And now that is five, just like that. You should see that you have five blocks from top all the way to the bottom. Next, we're going to go ahead and come around to this side. We're going to stair step down just like this. Go ahead and come down this way, facing the opposite direction now, and come back down it one more time, just like that. Place in it two more blocks, just like this, and then you can take redstone dust and cover every single one of these blocks. Later in the tutorial, I noticed a real flaw in my redstone. Over here, we have the green circuit and the blue circuit. And as you can see, this redstone is running into the green circuit. And it's powering that piston when it's not supposed to. It's supposed to power the piston that's connected to the blue circuit. And so to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just remove these three blocks right there. We can also remove that block when you get ready to build that in the tutorial. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take redstone dust on top of all of the obsidian. In the rest of the tutorial, you're going to see these blocks right there because I removed them just now later on in the tutorial. So you're going to see that, but make sure that you do it like this. 
Once you have that redstone wired up, go ahead and come down to the bottom of this and we're going to place in a block right here. We're going to place another one and one up just like that. Leave that temporary block in there for now. Go ahead and do the same thing over here. Make a little L shape just like so. Grab yourself two repeaters. Those are going to go on four ticks each, leading into each one of those blocks. Next, what we need to do is we need to come out to this direction and up by one again and, and one over here as well. Now we can break out all of our temporary blocks. Once you have all of that in place, go ahead and place yourself in some redstone dust right here and another repeater leading into this one and this one's going to be on three ticks once you have this completed next we're going to come right here in front of this green block in by these pistons go ahead and come down here place in a temporary block and one out just like so go ahead and come out by two more blocks and one over like this and in this gap here place another block on the side of that green block like so Come over here in front right here. We're going to go ahead and place ourselves in a one tick repeater leading in right there. Turn right around and place yourself in a three tick repeater just like this. Some redstone dust right there. And then turn yourself around and put in a two tick repeater just like so. That is this side wired up. Go ahead and come around the other side and grab your blocks. We're going to go ahead and come right around here just like so. Place in a temporary block there and come out here like this. We're going to place in it three blocks just like this. We're going to place in it four blocks just like this. And we're going to fill this all the way in just like so. Once we have that done, we're going to come right here. We're going to place in a block right there. Go ahead and place yourself in a uh, three tick repeater right here just like this. Place in a dot of redstone dust. And then right here, place in another block and then place yourself in a one tick repeater right there and a one tick repeater right there next we're going to go ahead and place in another repeater on this side we're going to do this on two ticks or three ticks just like this once you have that go ahead and place a block in right there with some redstone dust and then grab another repeater and put it over here on two ticks once you have that completed you can go ahead and break out these three blocks right here and you can break out that block right there you can also come around to this side and break that block right there those are all the temporary blocks that you're going to break out and just to give you guys a little redstone lesson of what's going on here, this is a conveyor belt. This takes a seven tick pulse to raise up a piston, have it push, have it retract, and go ahead and get sucked back down successfully. And so right here we have ourselves a seven tick pulse generator, and that can happen off a one tick pulse. It doesn't matter what the tick is. It'll go ahead and make sure it's a seven tick pulse generator. And then it'll go ahead and pass the signal into here. So what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and put a seven tick pulse in here. This is going to go ahead and trigger this redstone torch up into this observer powering this block it's going to go ahead and push that over and then what's going to happen is five ticks later it's going to go three ticks right here and two ticks over here back into this block and then this piston is going to go five ticks later because even though it needs a seven tick pulse it can actually go ahead and trigger the next one every five ticks because it only takes five ticks for this to go up extend it go back and then go back down the next one can go up and do the exact same thing so next once you have this built we're going to come right over here we're going to come directly right down from the this wood block right here we're going to place a piston in it just like that this is where all of our blocks are going to get fed down to and so now what we need to do is we need to wire this guy up what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place in a temporary block right here we're going to place another block in right there and one up just like that you can break these two out what we need to do now is we're going to place in a repeater right there on one tick we're going to go ahead and place in a torch so that repeater is powered and that way anytime that this goes in it's going to power that block so anytime there's a block right there it's going to get powered and if it gets powered, it's going to go ahead and power a bit of redstone dust that's going to be right out here. That's going to go ahead and come back here just like this. We're going to go up here just like so with another block. We need to come up by a temporary block with a slab in this area. This has to be a slab or a piece of glass or something like that. And then we need to place in a block right there, place in a temporary block and another one up just like so. That'll go ahead and cut the redstone off so that way when you place it in here like this, those two bits of redstone it won't finagle. And now you should notice that if you come on down here, that any time you place a block in there, it gets pushed down. If you tested your farm, be sure to break that block out so it doesn't get sent into your TNT blaster. Then next, we need to go ahead and come back around to the front of the farm just like this. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test this to make sure it works. So go ahead and grab yourself a block just like this. You can grab yourself a redstone torch just like that. You can go ahead and place in it in just like that. And you should see that it goes ahead and it does just like that. It goes ahead and pushes all that wood just down just like so. And it looks like it did it all successfully. Looks like it pushed everything down pretty well. And at this point, we can test it one more time because it has the top bit to do. So let's go ahead and place in another redstone torch right there and break it. And it looks like it's pushing that down at well too. 
And if you're building the superior tree farm, this is what it would look like over here. It looks pretty much exactly the same without the clay coming in from that side. So once you've got this installed and working, next we're going to come right to this piston right here. We're going to come right down below it. Down below here, go ahead and place yourself in a temporary block and one down just like that. Break that one out and place in some redstone dust right there. Grab yourself a redstone torch, place it in there just like this. Go ahead and catty corner over here. We're going to place in ourselves a redstone torch. Grab yourself another redstone torch, break this one out, and then place that one back so that way that one turns off. Once you have that in there, go ahead and come down here with a temporary block just like this, and then grab yourself a comparator. And if you guys want to, you guys can go ahead and wax your copper bulb. That's something that you guys could do if you guys want to keep it in a certain orientation. That's perfectly fine. Then once you have that in place, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a sticky piston. Go ahead and come up here just like this. Then we're going to come up here just like so up in this gap. Go ahead and place yourself in an observer just like that right there. Once you have all that in place, you should see that observer is peeking out through that gap right there and all that's wired up just like so. Next, we're going to come right to the backside of this redstone right here. Go ahead and bring this down by a block just like so. So that's stair stepping down just like that. We're going to bring that all the way across and back to here to this magenta circuit. We're going to come all the way back to right here just like this. What we need to do now is we need to actually stair step down here from that block just like so. We're going to go ahead and stair step down here and then down one more time just like that. So you have three blocks in a row leading down from that block and it should lead into this. What we're going to do here is we're going to place in it three redstone dust in it just like so. Grab yourself a repeater, put that in right there. Take redstone dust, go all the way across this minus one block and then put yourself in another repeater. And when you're done building that circuit, it should look just like this. And if you're on the Superior Universal Tree Farm, then this redstone is going to be two blocks longer because you extended it out two blocks, which is fine because the redstone still reaches. Here's our Superior Universal Tree Farm, and it looks exactly the same. You just don't have any of the mud making business going on over here. But everything else is exactly the same, and everything else has been the same up to this point. So this next bit is just specific just to the Superior Universal Tree Farm. Next, we're going to grab ourselves a copper bulb. We're going to come down to this yellow circuit right here. We're going to place a copper bulb in there just like that if you want to wax it you can do that too and then you're going to grab a redstone torch you're going to temporarily place one under here and get it in the on position and break that redstone torch so it stays on just like that come around to this side we're going to go ahead and place on ourselves a magenta wool block that's going to be that color of this circuit so let's go ahead and put that in here we're going to put that in here just like that with a block up just like so grab yourself a comparator put it in there like that so it turns on from the copper bulb and then on the face of this guy go ahead and throw yourself in a sticky piston just like that with an observer facing in this direction. Once you have this in place, go ahead and turn around and we'll come back to that. We're going to come over to this side of the farm now. We're going to go ahead and break out the block right here in the bottom right-hand corner right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come right around this way. We're going to place in ourselves a sticky piston facing that block right there. That block is not going to become part of the circuitry. As you can see, the, the redstone repeater there points into it and powers this redstone. So now this block, we need to power with a redstone block right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come out by a couple temporary blocks just like that. And we're going to go ahead and put another a redstone block there just like that so that way a sticky piston can go on there and it'll extend it just like that and now on this side of that redstone block we're going to place a temporary block right there we're going to put a piston in that direction right there coming off two blocks over here we're going to go ahead and come in this direction and place in ourselves a piston right there as well these two pistons are going to toggle that redstone block back and forth and toggle that circuit over there once you have this in place, next we're going to need to go ahead and take this observer here. I believe we can actually go ahead and turn this upside down just like that. And once we have that in that place, go ahead and bring three blocks across there just like so. Go ahead and wire that up just like that so that it's touching that piston. Once you have this all wired up, next we need to go ahead and come on over here and wire up this piston right here. What we're going to do over here is we're going to place ourselves on a redstone torch on that block right there. Grab yourself a sticky piston and come around in this direction. Go ahead and place yourself on a temporary block there and there. Place yourself on a sticky piston on the back side of that sticky or the back side of that, uh, that temporary block there and break those two out. Then once you're left with this, go ahead and grab yourself an observer. Place it in there just like that so the red dot is facing this direction. Then place your block in there in between the observer and that piston. In the tutorial, the redstone does not look like this, and that's because I found a flaw with it at the end of the video. So you're going to see it in a little bit different shape and different uh, stuff going on over here. But that way didn't work for me, so make sure it's this way. And it just disregard the fact that you see it the other way during the video. 
And also, since we added this piston right here, if you want to, you can open up this. This is kind of a maintenance area. Put buttons here if you do that, and that way you can get inside of your redstone testing area and uh, make sure that all of your pistons are in there. Then you can get out because there's no way out through the front there, and that way you can come in here. Then once you come out here, you can build yourself a nice little way of getting in here from the front. Once you have that circuit wired up, your farm is pretty much ready to use. All you need to do now is follow that tutorial where I showed you how to build all of the different types of piston pushers. You're going to be building those down here to lead all of your blocks into one of these pistons here. If you feel confident enough, you can go ahead and watch the tutorial and finish your farm up if you're watching the Superior Universal Tree Farm. However, I will be doing this with you guys at the end of the video after I do the Dirty Tree Farm. And in this video, I've included chapters, so there should be a chapter called Piston Pushers. You can go ahead and forward to that if you're building the Superior Universal Tree Farm. However, if you're building the Dirty Tree Farm, we're going to be wiring this one up slightly differently. Go ahead and grab yourself a copper bulb. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to come right over here to this yellow circuit right there. We need it in the on position, so grab yourself a redstone torch, power it in the on position grab yourself a magenta wool block we're going to come around to this side go ahead and place yourself in a block right there and then a block up just like that put yourself in a comparator in there just like so and then grab yourself a sticky piston we're going to put it in there in this position with a, a, a observer on its face just like this what we need to do now is we're going to come down here just like so go ahead and place a block down there just like that place out three in total go ahead and come over by one we're going to go ahead and stair step up by one and then another one just like this and then over one just like that and that should land you right at that brown wool block as long as it's right there at that brown wool block you are good go ahead and put in some redstone dust leading all the way back to your observer once you have this in place it's look just like this where you have all of this going on right here by that brown wool block and then once you have that done next we're going to come back to our copper bulb we're going to come onto this side of it we're going to do the same thing over here we're going to go ahead and place ourselves in a comparator this time i'm using cyan concrete because this is a different circuit so we're going to place in ourselves a comparator in right there just like that we're going to take ourselves a piston up here just like this and then on the back side of this one we're going to place ourselves in a sticky piston just like that and that way there's there's going to be some blocks that interact right here anytime that there's a block there this piston will extend and so now what we're going to do is we're going to place ourselves in an observer with the red dot facing down just like this that should leave the face facing up like so then what we need to do is we need to place a temporary block on the front of that observer and then down one just like this. Once you have that in place, now we can go ahead and come down by another one just like so. And what we're going to do here is we're going to come out by one, over by one, and stairs up, up by one just like that again. And then what we can do now is we're going to go just like this. We're going to go two blocks right here. We're going to go one block right there. Now we can grab some redstone dust. We're going to br uh, bring redstone dust in these four areas just like this. Then grab yourself a repeater, put it on four ticks put yourself another repeater put it on three ticks and then down here put yourself another repeater on four ticks once you have those all in place then go ahead and place yourself in a block up in front of that repeater and then a block out in front of that repeater then you can break this one out and put yourself in some redstone dust in right there what we're going to do now is we're going to come right on top of this repeater here so go ahead and put yourself in a block there and you can break that redstone out if you need to pay put a temporary block in then grab yourself a redstone torch you're going to place it in there just like this with a block on top just like so another redstone torch up just like so with one more block on top so once you have this part of the circuit in, it should be looking something just like this. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to come over here underneath your clay. We're going to come right over here to this side of that redstone torch. We're going to place ourselves in a block right there, then a block up in front of that one. So go ahead and place that in there. Then grab yourself a one tick repeater. We're going to put it in there just like that. Out here, we're going to come out by one block here, just like so. We're going to place ourselves in a one tick repeater right there. And then go ahead and place ourselves in another block and one out here, just like so. Grab yourself some redstone dust you can place it in there right there then come around underneath your clay over here underneath these dripstones and you're going to go ahead and put a block up on the side here just like this and one out to the side and one back over here and then one back over there what we're going to do is we're going to place in it two two tick repeaters right here just like that then on this side we're going to go ahead and place ourselves in a block right there and then a block up just like this go ahead and place in a block there and a block there go ahead and grab yourself a repeater this is going to be a two 
two tick repeater over here is going to be a three tick repeater in this direction with some redstone dust in right there what we can do now is we can place in ourselves another block we're going to go ahead and place ourselves in a block there a block up there and a block out to the side go ahead and break that one out then we can go ahead and place ourselves in a block there and a block there what we're going to do now is we're going to come right over here with a two tick repeater just like that some redstone dust and then a three tick repeater ending in right there once you have all of this redstone in place, next we can go ahead and place ourselves in some sticky pistons on top of these four blocks in here, just like so. Those are all going to get powered by the redstone beneath them. Then we're going to take ourselves some regular pistons. We're going to come right across on top of here. We're going to place regular pistons in this orientation toward their face in that direction. Then what we need to do is we need to grab ourselves some redstone torches. Go ahead and place redstone torches on the back sides of all of those sticky pistons down there. Then to do this next bit, we can go ahead and remove some of this clay here go ahead and remove some of that and then grab yourself an observer go ahead and place observers in facing to where the red dot is facing up just like this and then we can go ahead and put all of this clay back we're going to go ahead and put this back here just like so we can go ahead and put that back here as well and then over here on this side we're going to go ahead and place ourselves in a cyan block because that actually needs to be there so when this extends it actually does get powered and i believe that these clay blocks they don't actually need to be there once you have all this set up, it should be looking a lot like this. Now we're going to come to this very last piston right here, and this should be right above this piston right here. This is exactly where we want to be. We're going to go ahead and take ourselves a observer. We're going to place it in there just like this. Over here, we're going to take ourselves another observer, so that way one's up and one is sideways facing this direction. Then we're going to take ourselves a regular piston. We're going to come right down here. We're going to go right onto the face of that observer, and you should see that that is directly above that piston down there. Grab yourself a few blocks, and we're going to go ahead and place the blocks coming down here just like so. That's going to go all the way one block above that piston to where you have a one block gap right there. So when those blocks get shot down, the system's going to know that there's clay in the system and that it's ready to be pushed over. So therefore, this comparator will take over and it'll uh, trigger this circuit because this circuit will now be complete. But we also need a reset circuit so that way when the circuit's all done, it shoves it back up and knows that there's no more clay in the system. So we're going to come right over here off the backside of this cyan circuit. Circuit. We're going to start with an orange circuit because this is going to be our reset circuit. So next we're going to come down off of there. We're going to come down by one block right there. We're going to come down by another block right over here. Then what we need to do is we need to come right over here to this piston. We're going to place in blocks coming all the way back there just like so. Grab yourself a uh, repeater right there. Go ahead and put that on four ticks. And then go ahead and put a uh, redstone line leaning all the way back up to here just like that. Once you have this complete, it should look a lot like this. And then once you have that done, the dirty tree farm is fully wired up. And if you're already done with the superior tree farm, it's time to start paying attention. Next, we're going to go ahead and tell you guys how to get your wood to go from the farm all the way down into the TNT blaster. At the very end, you definitely want your wood going underneath this piston. This piston is in the tutorial for this thing, and so therefore you definitely want your wood going into it, either from this side or from that side somehow, some way. And in all of my other tutorials, all the smaller ones, I've left in how to build these, and I've also got more piston pushers in the latest tutorial that I have, and so I'll leave that link down in the description for you guys. I left it on the screen earlier for you, and that is how to push uh, blocks around reliably and to where they won't break because that's definitely important for this farm and so uh, definitely watch that tutorial if you don't know how to do uh, reliable piston pushing but nonetheless you definitely want all of your blocks ending up here and so therefore what I've done here on my tree farm is I've got this one going down into one of the piston pushers that can accept blocks from above and it's sending it into my farm going that way I've already got these pistons laid out and so therefore I'm going to be pushing my wood down into one of these pistons so at this point, regardless of which design you chose, either the Superior Universal Tree Farm or the Dirty Tree Farm, you are going to have to navigate your blocks down to the Universal TNT Blaster. So right now would be a great time to go ahead and watch that tutorial if you guys don't know how to reliably push blocks around with decent piston pushers. And so go ahead and watch that, that way you know what's going on in the rest of the video. So once you've watched that, go ahead and come on back and check this out. So what we're going to do is we're going to get your blocks going right into this here, and as you can see here in the tutorial I built this here and you have a couple of different ways of getting blocks into it so what I've done here is I've gone ahead and abided by all of the piston rules pistons can push up to 12 blocks 
So you definitely need to keep that in mind while building here. I also mentioned that in the tutorial, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it here as well. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to count that 12 blocks starting from the face of the piston, which can't have a block in it because if you put a wood block in there, it's just going to get pushed. So you can't really have a block there to count with. So we're just going to count it. We're going to count that air block. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. That's 12 blocks away, and there's not even a block in there because that's how many blocks a piston can push. So that's 12 blocks exactly. In the piston pushing tutorial, I also give you a 15 block trick. So there's 12 blocks. This is the 13th block. Your piston is the 14th block, and then the 15th block is a placeholder to go ahead and turn around and place your piston on. If you back up 15 blocks from every piston, you'll definitely not break it. And so as you can see, that's exactly what I've done. I've, I've abided by that rule on all of these piston pushers, and I've reliably gotten all my blocks to get to, over here to my Universal TND Blaster, which is what we're trying to do for you with your Universal t uh, Tree Farms. And uh, so basically what we need to do is we need to go ahead and make sure that we abide by those rules, getting our blocks over to each of our farms, and I'm going to show you how to use those rules right now. So I'm going to start off with the dirty tree farm and this is, you could do this, you could use this advice for the superior universal tree farm too. It's all the same. This is all just pushing blocks at this point. So basically what you want to do <clears throat> is if you're pushing blocks where I'm going to be, I'm going to be pushing blocks into this piston pusher right here. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and get 12 blocks above this because this is the piston pusher that I have that's nearest my farm. And so your end result is going to be over here. And like I said, you need to use that tutorial that I have down in the description to go ahead and push your blocks into there. That's the end result. As you can see, I've got block streams coming from there, and this is where my last piston is. So if you have multiple farms built, you could do what I did and built this up here. Then you just need to find yourself one of these pistons and go ahead and feed your blocks into it. So now to hook up all of your redstone, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and use that rule that I taught you earlier. And in the tutorial, I actually show you guys how to use a 15 block trick instead of the 12 block rule. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use that trick right now. We're going to count 15 blocks from the face of that piston. Below that piston is a redstone torch and we don't want to break it. So if you go 15 blocks away from it and place your piston in in the 14th block, it won't break. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So here's a block number one and we can't actually put another block in there because if you put another block in there, it just gets pushed. So there's never really going to be a block there to count with. So just, just skip it and go ahead and put a block above it. And so once you have that in place, Place, that's going to be block number one. This is going to be block number two. We're going to count to 15. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Once we have that, we're going to break block number 14 out. Go ahead and come on down below and place in a piston just like that, okay? Go ahead and break this block, and then you can go ahead and break these blocks as well. And if you're smart, go ahead and use wood so you don't have to break them back out. You can just leave it there. So once you have this all in place and you have your first piston in place, it doesn't matter where it is you're going to be putting it into that one like i said so you're just navigate this is just an example of how to do this like i said it's not a block by block tutorial on how to do this bit i have a tutorial that shows you how to build these piston pushers i'm just showing you the troubleshooting and the and the way of actually engineering how to get your blocks to and from so nonetheless uh we have a 12 block push limit and we have more than 12 blocks from this piston over to this block stream. So knowing that, that means that I'm definitely gonna have to push my blocks in this direction. There's definitely not that many blocks going over here. And so therefore, this is the short way. So this is definitely not, not an issue. We're gonna have to go in that direction first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna count 15 blocks from that block. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Right there, we definitely know we need a piston, break out block number 14, put in another uh, piston right there, and then you can break out all of your temporary blocks. Once all your temporary blocks are broken, next go ahead and come to the face of that piston, and then we're gonna go ahead and line up the side. We're gonna go in the direction of which your wood is coming out of your farm. And so we're gonna come over here to the right-hand side, just like this, and we're gonna line it all the way up with that wood stream coming out. 
and that might be a different amount of blocks for all of you but nonetheless when you get to this point this is what it'll kind of look like right here and so here is let's see we have four we have eight we have nine blocks so that's definitely less than the push limit so what we're going to do now is we need to go ahead and put a piston going in that direction and it's okay that it's breaking the 12 block rule what that means is that we're going to have to put ourselves some obsidian over here so now that we know that this is less than 12 blocks we're going to put some, some obsidian there because we're going to need it so now once you have that in place you can go ahead and break out all of your temporary blocks out of here now what we're going to do is we're going to go in that direction this is also going to be less than 12 blocks so we're also going to need obsidian over here as well go ahead and do that and then go ahead and put your blocks in here just like this and then it, once they're underneath your wood all you're going to do is you're going to come out by two more blocks break out that one then place in a piston just like that and the wood should be lined up to where to come right in front of it this is also less than the 12 block push limit right here right in front of this piston so we're definitely going to need some obsidian underneath it once you have all that in place you can break out all of your temporary blocks if you were able to set up all of your pistons just like this, leading all the way back down into your Universal TNT Blaster, then you could definitely use my tutorial now and go ahead and watch it, and you could build different piston pushers for each of these designs. I have tutorials that would fit each and every one of these. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how I would do this. So next, we're going to go ahead and actually do this right on camera. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves some blocks going on in here. Now, this is beyond the 12-block push limit, so we're having some obsidian down here, which means that I've got to choose a design that does not have a redstone torch down there, and there's no redstone down below. So in order to do, make that work, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place a block in right here. We're going to go just like that with a redstone torch underneath with a red, uh, redstone repeater right there. Next, we can come onto this side. We can place a block there and there, and we can put some redstone dust there. And as you can see, anytime a block goes in there, it's going to get pushed out. The next piston over here, I'm going to have to do two different ways. I'm going to have to do it with an observer and a redstone forced way of doing it. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and place ourselves in an observer right here, just like that, with a block on its face like so. We're going to go ahead and come down here just like that so we can have some redstone dust right here that'll get powered whenever a block goes in front of it, just like this. So anytime we have wood coming this way you can see that it would get pushed so that if we ever do like that it would get pushed but in the event that it can't push it would get broke because it's only got a one tick pulse so we need to make sure that it's definitely going to go no matter what and so what we're going to do now is we're going to put ourselves a sticky piston right above that area right there next we need to go ahead and put ourselves in a block under there with a redstone torch so now anytime a block goes in right there that sticky piston is going to go up that's going to have a redstone block on it and this is going to power a circuit indefinitely until that block gets pushed out so we need to put it in a block right there we're going to come up a block right there right in the middle we're going to grab a glass block we're going to come right across there just like that and that way this redstone dust can pass through that and back on up to here up to this redstone block and as you can see once it gets pushed out that redstone block goes down so now we have a reliable and dependable way of pushing blocks on this next piston i'm gonna have to use the exact same design so let's go ahead and do this one on camera. Let's go ahead and put ourselves in a observer right there with a block on its face. We're gonna come on down here just like that with some redstone dust in there. Let's go ahead and put ourselves in a sticky piston right in here just like that right there. Then we need to put ourselves in a redstone torch under here. So let's grab a block right here like that with a redstone torch. Then above this guy, we need ourselves a redstone block. We're going to put a block on the face of that one, just like so. We're going to come up a block right here. We're going to put in a glass block right here. And then we're going to run redstone dust all the way up the way here. So anytime there's a block in front of there, it should get pushed out just like that. And now for the next piston in my line, this one is going to be easy because this one is abiding by the 12 block rule so we don't have any obsidian to worry about. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to come down here just like this. We're going to come down by another block. We're going to come out this way and that way. So the block is going to be coming in from this direction and coming in right here, which means that anytime it does, we're going to want to power it with a repeater just like this and a redstone torch underneath it to make sure that it gets powered. Then we're going to run, want to run this redstone signal up to that piston, which is easy enough to do just just like this we're going to come right around here like that and up there like that and the blocks will pass right underneath those blocks and power that piston at this point you can remove all of your temporary blocks and it, now my farm over here is going to be ready to use i could actually use it right now and all the wood blocks would be going right in there 
And actually, before you do that, come back over here to this circuit right here. I've made an accident in my redstone. I showed you guys how to do this earlier. I provided a clip in earlier in the video. But this bit of redstone here is finagling. This redstone on top of the blue block is supposed to activate this piston. However, it's running into that green block, and it's activating this piston, and it's causing issues. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and break out these three blocks. We're going to go ahead and put redstone dust on top of the obsidian just like that and redirect it, and that we no longer need that block either. Make sure before you test your farm, you do this. At this point, your farm is ready to use, and I've got my second account in here. He's all ready to go. Where is he? He's right there, ready to plant some trees. So I'm going to go ahead and clamp his L2 button down, and we're going to have trees coming into the system. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and pin his L2 button down here, just like that. And it looks like a tree got planted. Looks like the farm is turning on, and it looks like wood is coming through. There it is. It is getting shoved down. Clay is also coming in, so this is awesome. You guys will be able to see that. The clay circuit is going to turn on just now, right before the next set of trees comes in, so it's perfectly timed. The wood is coming out reliably, independently, and it's not backing up in the farm. And now all of my piston pushers are being used. All the blocks are going from point A to point B reliably, and here they go down into the system. It looks like we got just a few more blocks before that goes down and in, and here it goes. Looks like I did a good job there too. Everything is now feeding into the TNT blaster. Once you have everything going into the TNT blaster, that's pretty much job complete. This thing will do the rest, and the tutorial for that is also down in the description, so make sure that you have one of those built, obviously, if you're going to be building this whole tutorial, because this is the whole point, is to get the tree farm to go down to the TNT blaster. Over here on the Superior Universal Tree Farm, I was actually getting the piston pushers all set up, and I realized that I was actually going to fin finagle with this redstone, and instead of removing my pistons, I decided to challenge myself and make it work, and I came up with a different design, and basically it's the, it's the same design, it's just the blocks are placed in a little differently. So to power my piston, I'm going to put them in here just like this. This is the design that has the redstone piston on top with the glass in the middle. So instead of the glass, because this would get in the way, I went ahead and put my blocks off to the side, but the point being is that I can power my piston. You know, the one that normally looks like this. So now that this guy's all wired up, let's go check out our other farm. Look at that. That piston didn't push that block, and now there's a whole nother block in the, in the space right there, and look at that. It just came out of the farm right now. That would technically break your farm, and if you're having that issue, that is something that I never had. I had I ran this farm for 24 hours, and I never had that. But being since we're on Budrock, uh, <laughs> instead of Bedrock, Bugrock, I think in order to fix that, we could come down here into the redstone. This is going to be on the brown and the cyan turkey, uh, circuit. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, return that to three ticks, just like that over there, the very last repeater all the way in. We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to come to the end of the line, the last piston over there. We're going to come underneath here. We're going to put this uh, repeater here. That one's on three ticks. We're going to need to put that one on three ticks. That way it's three ticks and then three ticks going back in. That should solve that problem. That is a latency issue with something that might be uh, directional or maybe even locational is probably more what it is. I'm thinking that there's something wrong with maybe this chunk right here because as you can see it works all the time. There it is. It just worked. And then for some reason it doesn't work and what's happening is this piston's trying to push while that arm is still extended and it can't push during that time. So if you're having that issue in the location you're building that, go ahead and change those repeaters to three ticks down there. Now again, if you're not experiencing that issue, then you're totally fine. Everything is fine underneath there. You don't need to mess with it if you're not having that issue. This farm doesn't have that done to it. That farm doesn't have it done to it. And it's not happening to either of these. It's only happening to that one. So it is a locational thing. If you're experiencing that type of issue in the location you built this in, then just go down below and turn that to three ticks. And if you're experiencing the same issue on the clay side, then go ahead and do that as well. So now I'm going to let that guy run some more. And now that this guy's all done, we're going to go ahead and test this guy out. So now I've brought over my second account. He's inside the farm. He's going to go ahead and start planting trees. You can see his head down in there and his arm. So let's go ahead and pin down his L2 button and watch the trees come through. If we go ahead and pin that down, we should be able to see that we have wood coming into the system here shortly. And it, there's our first tree. Looks like it's getting pushed through the farm successfully. Looks like all that's working. All that wood is moving. That's good. Here comes another piece. All that's moving down into there. That's very good. If you take a look, I've got wood going all the way down into my TNT blaster now. It is starting to push all the basalt back into the system from the other mini farms. 
Once you know your farm is pushing wood in the system, you can come inside your TNT blaster and go ahead and check it out, breaking it out all the blocks and sending them all down. It looks like my system is actually backing up. So be sure to build yourself some awesome uh, shulker box storage down here. After building all of this, a shulker box storage system should be very easy for you. <laughs> and so I've got a link to that tutorial down in the description. I've got some one wide tileables that would go awesome down here and I'm sure you guys would love them. And if you really want to take this project to the next level, then build yourself a superior moss farm. The superior moss farm turns all the moss into bone meal and supplies all of your bone meal farms with endless bone meal. And all of these farms are superior farms. This is the superior universal tree farm and the superior universal dirty tree farm. And both of them uh, can hook up to that for endless bone meal. And so I'll leave a link to that tutorial down in the description and I just noticed that our other tree farm is still working look at that <laughs> it's still pushing wood into the TNT blaster so I know you guys are gonna enjoy this in your survival world so I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and if you guys did be sure to smack that like button for me and subscribe if you guys are new I am broken bones and I'll be seeing you guys in the next tutorial take it easy everybody